Hey there, welcome. It is the Nisha Jackson Show. My name is Rusty Every. She is Nisha Jackson. We sure appreciate you being here. Make sure you go to nishajackson.com or onepeakmedical.com. And also, would you please hit the subscribe button and share this video? This one's an important one. You've been hanging out with a, a big time guy, and I always. Yeah, do you ever have any of those words that you always say wrong or you're never sure? Do you, do you, do you have any of those like? Yes, like his name. Yeah, I don't know if I call him Dr. Daniel. Amen, amen, amen. <laughs> I, I always get confused. What is it properly? It's amen. Amen. Okay, Dr. Amen. amen. He's a very famous um, brain guy, right? I, yes. I've talked to him a couple yeah. of times, but uh, describe who this guy is and why you're so excited about him. Yes. He is my new guru. Uh, he is uh, probably the the world's most famous psychiatrist. We'll call him that. He is a brain specialist. He's very, very, very into scanning the brain. And uh, so he's been doing this particular type of brain scan. It's not an MRI. It's not a CAT scan. It's not an X-ray. It is a SPEC scan. And a SPEC scan is a way of looking at the brain that allows you to see how the different parts of the brain are are actually working. So are they are they getting enough blood flow? Do they have enough nutrients? Are they functioning and firing up when they should be functioning and firing up? Are they not active at all? Um, you know, are the things that you're doing in your lifestyle, drinking alcohol, taking drugs, worrying excessively, not sleeping, uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, um, bipolar, what, whatever it might be that you're uh, struggling with, this scan actually shows how it's affecting your brain. And then what he does with the, um, with the help of many other health, healthcare professionals that he has trained is they read the scans and they, and they work with you on understanding what your scan shows. And then they put you on a treatment program to basically rehabilitate your brain. Wow. So, and that means that they can show a follow-up scan and there are lots of pictures I'm going to show you today that show how the brain recovered itself. It is one of the only organs we have that actually can recover itself. Like it so, can, it can recover. So you really feel confident in what Dr. Amen. Right? Yes. You, you're confident in what his beliefs are and what he does. I mean, he, he's controversial. Some yeah. people don't really uh, buy into it, but you've met with him. You've been trained. You understand it. And so you you yes. think it's on. he's on the right path. Well, I think it's controversial because he's scanning the brain and he's making a diagnosis of this what you're doing is not working for you and this is why or you're having anxiety because this part of your brain is underactive and we're going to put you on a treatment program to, to bring it back he has thousands thousands tens of thousands of scans before and after treatment programs that are phenomenal now if you're the type of critic that doesn't believe that lifestyle stress nutrients chemicals don't affect your brain at all then this guy's not for you if you if you you're going to think he's a quack uh but he is far from that he is he is very well known he has been on every every show uh he's been he's done many hundreds of research studies uh that have been peer-reviewed research studies uh and his work is phenomenal now of course i buy into it because uh, and you don't really have to buy into it because you can just experience it and see it for yourself. But this is what we do in our practices is we optimize people. We optimize their whole health and it changes things. They have less inflammation. Their brain starts working. It's like it wakes up. It's like, thank you for giving me what I needed. So I would say anyone suffering from ADD, uh, poor concentration, memory, like early problems with memory loss, 
severe anxiety, chronic insomnia, uh, anything that's negatively affecting the brain, depression, um, um, uh, habituation, problems with you can't get off drugs, alcohol, smoking, whatever. This, this might be a track you want to take because his success rate is very high. Now, now, now you've, you've mentioned a couple of things that really seem to be um, in epidemic proportions, it seems like. Uh, depression, oh. ADHD. Yeah. What kind of things do you do? So you, you, you go get scanned, and then what would happen if your brain showed that you were depressed or ADHD, does that show up in the brain scan? Yes, it does. Well, it shows up in different ways that it might be affecting that center of the brain, that part of the brain. I've, I've had a lifelong interest in the brain. I'm so interested in human behavior. I'm so interested in the emotional parts of the brain. I'm really interested in how people can fire between one side of the brain and the other. I, I'm just, the brain is so interesting to me. And is there one thing that people are afraid of more than losing their brain? I don't think so. No. Because if you don't have a brain, <laughs> I don't. I don't even. You can't. Go, you can't do anything, right? Right. I mean, you do you deal with somebody that's got Alzheimer's? I mean, it's it's so depressing. It's scary. I mean, it's like, like you feel like I anyway. It's like you're locked. They're they're locked inside themselves, and they yes. and I'm sure they're just. Or my grandmother who had a stroke and she couldn't communicate. Oh my yes. goodness! It's you know yes. you're. you're, you're yeah, it's 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 one thing that you really have to pay attention to and you really have to to nurture and take care of. And the great thing about the brain, even if you've really messed up your brain and your scan looks awful, like I'm going to show you a picture here. Um, this is uh, the brain Looks like an alien. Yeah. So you basically <laughs> here's my brain. Oh, that's lovely. See how it's smooth? I'm not saying I have a great brain. In fact, I think I might be missing a frontal lobe. But anyway, we'll we'll get to that later. <laughs> okay. This is my brain. See how smooth it is? Yeah. No holes. This is somebody who's been on alcohol for 10 years. Not not addicted, just drinking regularly for 10 years. Look at the holes okay. in the brain. Wow. You see that? Yes. Yeah, that's a problem, right? Yeah, so, I think. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of holes in the brain. So um, this one is cocaine and methamphetamines, not a long history of use, but you don't want holes in the brain. Okay, so say just, no to drugs, kids, <laughs> no to drugs <laughs> and stop habituating on alcohol. The whole yeah, world wow. is habituating on alcohol wow. right now. Um, so actually, I was really glad to uh, see that um, that uh, my brain was not really ransacked from um, <laughs> Some tequila and wine. Anyway, I, I, anyway, I've I seen to... you on a couple of nights. I'm surprised <laughs> there's not at least one hole in there. I'm just saying. Okay, this is a scan right here of during uh, alcohol and substance abuse. Okay. Here is getting off of it and recovering. Okay. Check out how the brain recovered itself. Is that amazing? Yes. So. Anyway, it's now they're not really holes in the brain, right? I mean, what yes. are we looking at? Because I mean, a hole yes. I would think would bleed. Yes, yes, it's 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 uh, it's really uh, deficits in the brain, um, and and you can see uh, stroke victims. Um, here's attention. Um, uh, this is um, attention deficit disorder. So people who are not treated right here, you can see there's just a lot of defects in the brain. It's not smooth. The contour is not smooth. So there's a lot of things that need to be done. Not treating attention deficit disorder the right way causes the brain to be like excessively stimulated. And people say that all the time that have ADD. It's like their brain is like, you know, like um, it's 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 just on it's on fire. Like, But isn't that what the drugs are for? And that's what all the teach, you know, you have schools is here, take your ADD medicine and you're yes, better. The medic certain medications can help that, but so can certain supplements and certain modifications to lifestyle behavior can make hmm. a big difference. So um, even people with excessive anger, uh, people with uh, problems with um, like um, oversensitive to uh, any information, you know, where they fly off the handle because they're overly sensitive, that could be a certain part of the brain that just needs to be nourished more. So it's pretty exciting. This, 
This is the internal part. So this actually is my brain. Hmm. Um, so you, you definitely want to see red and you want to see, you want to see the active parts of the brain. Uh, this is where I actually thought maybe I didn't have a frontal lobe, but I have not <laughs> been fully trained on this. Okay. okay so don't, right. <laughs> don't, don't take my word for it yet. What does but the frontal it, lobe do that would you'd be missing? Well, the frontal lobe is for reasoning, right? Yeah, you're pretty so reasonable. Of, <laughs> so, I mean, actually, it could explain a lot. But um, <laughs> it's really, it's just a fascinating subject for me, and I'm really excited. So the what I gave a lecture this year to our medical practitioners, all of the providers in our office. We have 27 now. Wow. And um, I gave this lecture on leaky gut and how it affects leaky brain. And why I think this is leading to all these people having anxiety and problems with depression. I mean, the, the, the incidence of anxiety and depression right now is like this. And I was uh, talking about this with Dr. Amen. And he was saying that absolutely everything uh, related to anxiety and depression and lack of concentration and memory and focus is, is, is absolutely just shooting straight up. Hmm. And so we have to pay attention to this because I think those three issues, anxiety, depression, and cognition, people's ability to focus and, and have good memory and concentration are going to be the problems of the next two years. And I think wow. a lot of it has to do with what's going on in the world. I think it's, it has a lot to do with people's stress. And I think it has a ton to do with people's diet and lifestyle habits. And so, an, another person, you had a special guest speaker at your, at your gut uh, uh, lesson thing, uh, our friend, Suzanne Summers. Yes. So bringing and, those, like marrying those two things up, yes. the, the gut, which now she's really into and has amazing products mm -hmm. and also Dr. Amen on nourishing the brain. And we uh, feel so lucky. I feel so lucky to be able to work with both of these specialists, like so honored. Uh, we're going to be trained about nine of our medical providers are going to be trained to be readers for Dr. Amen. So when they do the scan, we will be able to do the reading of the scans and then we will be able to do the treatment plan. So when can I get that at, at one peak? Is that coming soon? Well, the, scan, the scans will be done at their clinic because they're very special. So I have to go to San Diego for that? For the you, scan? Uh, yes. Yeah. They okay. have scans. So the closest in Oregon would either be Bellevue or... Um, would be a uh, Walnut Creek in California. So they have, they have various scans. And so, yeah, we would have them get the scans there and then we would do the follow-up care and the interpretation. And so we're super excited about that to be able to offer that to our patients. How cool. And um, I think this is something that people have to pay attention to. And it's really his desire to have as many people as possible get scanned he wants to continue his research. The Canadian government just approved this as something that is going to be covered by insurance companies, which means they're now coming. Canadians are coming down and getting it done. So it's, it's a great, exciting time uh, to be able to have more information about how to keep your brain healthier, longer. Who doesn't want a sharp brain till 125? Yeah, absolutely. And, I'd like and to have a sharp brain. speaking of something, so I don't mean to name drop or anything, but... I was at Suzanne Summer's house the other day, just kind of hanging yeah. out. She <laughs> loves Nisha. Oh my gosh, she's going off. Nisha's the next big star. Oh, I'm telling you, <laughs> Nisha's. Oh, she. Oh, she was. Oh, she loves you. I must have done a number on her. I don't know how that happened. Oh, she loves you. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so uh, so we're gonna find it. So you're gonna you're you're. It's coming soon. Your your stuff with Dr. Amen. Yes. Yeah. So okay. it'll be in the next several months that we will be one of the interpretation facilities. And we'll, these will all be done via televisit. So you can go to a facility Dr. Amen has, get the scan, and then do the, the follow-up uh, with one of our healthcare professionals or theirs. They have, mm -hmm. they have the healthcare, but they just can't keep up with the demand. Sure. And so they want to they want to collaborate with functional medicine specialists like us to be able to help carry out the mission of getting people's brain healthy. I like it. And if you like it, you should go to NishaJackson.com. You'll find out more. Keep going there and find out uh, more about when she starts the uh, pro the uh, partnership there with Dr. Amen. And also, you know, is there any good supplements that help the brain that you anything you you have yes. that you can think of? 
Yeah. So t- two things that I think are super important for the brain. Number one is essential fatty acids. Um, uh, obviously eating more fish and fatty acid. I mean, fat, fatty type foods, good fats, uh, avocados, nuts, seeds, um, but also, and good oils, um, but also fish oil uh, capsules or uh, omega-3 fatty acids, though our brain is fat. And so it needs good fats to stay nourished. And so that would, that's like top on the list. You call my brain fat? Your brain is fat. I'm sorry, but that's good. Okay. All right. <laughs> it's hey. the one area you want to be fat. Okay. Good fat. Hey, go to nishajackson.com and uh, find out about the supplements and more of what Nish is up to. Also, her book, Brilliant Burnout, is uh, still in, uh, on Amazon and stores. And uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button. You don't want to miss any, any of the brilliance coming from Ms. Nisha Jackson. I know I don't. Anyway, we sure appreciate you. Subscribe, share this with your friends. Until next time, I'm Rusty Humphreys. That there's Nisha Jackson, and this is the Nisha Jackson Podcast.